Today is Thursday, May 26, 2016, and it's about 11.20 a.m. here in Los Angeles. Um, I'm going to give you an update since uh, about a uh, little over two weeks ago where I attended the um, Daily Fantasy hearings in Washington, D.C. And many of you have asked uh, why all the focus on Daily Fantasy. A lot of that is driven by personal desires. I know some of you play Daily Fantasy and maybe you spent money on your tool sets and all that and you want to see it persist because you have a vested interest in it personally. Um, that is not the basis for making decisions for this business. I'm not going to look at anything from that perspective. I don't make the decisions based on my personal desires. So I'm certainly not going to make them based on anybody else's personal desires. I'm going to look at it from the top and what's what should happen and what shouldn't happen in any given situation based on my best judgment. That's my role in this job. So uh, Daily Fantasy was identified a few years ago uh, as the main threat to our being able to get our product out into the marketplace because they would steal the market share in terms of selling the customer something that was uh, on the surface much more attractive uh, while much more dangerous, that really wouldn't matter. What would matter is the customer appetite would become daily fantasy and it would squeeze out other possibilities in the marketplace. Think of uh, Betamax versus VHS, very similar. So based upon that uh, identification, and that was mainly done by ACE, I, it took me a little longer to come around and understand it, but I did understand it. And since then, we have been engaged in many different ways in trying to bring Daily Fantasy down. And some of you have um, seen what has happened. Um, there's some interesting coincidences and timing. And while I don't believe that we have been the root cause of it, I think that we have uh, certainly uh, amplified it in many ways. And that is not going to stop. At this point, uh, after seeing what took place in Washington and how these guys didn't even bother to show up, um, I would like to remind you, if you happen to watch this video, that the federal government does still trump the state governments. So I'm not really sure what your strategy was there in terms of um, snubbing Congress and not showing up to answer questions. Um, I think that was a very bad strategic move, and it's going to blow back on you. I know you're going from state to state now uh, trying to get laws passed um, having some success, sort of, uh, and a lot of them are on hold. A lot of them are not, nothing is happening at all, and many have been turned down. So I guess that's your only move. Um, I'd probably do the same thing if I were in your shoes. I would try to make it a state-by-state -state approach, but I certainly would have showed up in Congress. So I was there. Um, the panel was not amused. The chair was not amused. Um, you're going to get uh, hard questions now in writing r relative to the oral questions you would have had to face. Um, your surrogate was completely inept, and um, I, I don't think this is going to work out very well. So what have we done? Well, we've uh, put out some mail to Congress. We put out some mail to New York, California, and Illinois at the state level. Today we're putting out mail to Colorado. These are the main trigger points right now in state legislation, basically bringing... Um, the state legislators up to speed on the various points because I'm sure the lobbyists with their buckets of cash are not presenting the facts as they are but are presenting their position as relative to daily fantasy so everything we've put in the letters is true um, we've received some pr press coverage uh, recently from the New York Business Journal on uh, the open letter that was published you can see the body of that letter um, in that piece by the New York Business Journal. Uh, just look up the sports vote on Google News and you should find it pretty easily. So anyway, uh, that, that process of uh, going after Daily Fantasy is not going to stop. Uh, we're going to continue to put the pressure up on them while at the same time uh, promoting all sports market and the better option. So it's two halves of the same uh, coin. So how are things going with ASM? Well, we continue to grow our trader base. Um, the affiliate system, which we've been working on for a few months now, is less than a week away. Um, that should bring in a boatload of new traders uh, through existing networks, so that's very exciting stuff. Um, we're working on the development designs of a new um, suite of apps for iOS and Android to allow access to both sides of the market. 
both the um, paid side and the learning side. The target to complete that is by the end of the year. Hopefully we can get that done sooner, but I feel comfortable in saying that will be done by the end of the year. And the uh, August 6th launch party, which is where we will be uh, releasing for real money trading uh, National Football League, National Basketball Association, and National Hockey League. That's on August 6th. We're starting to um, ramp up the promotion of that. You'll see more press releases and such. Speaking of press releases, we've done a uh, half dozen or so since the last video update, a little less than three weeks uh, ago. And uh, we're getting good coverage. We're getting good coverage and a lot of um, interest in our story uh, from places like ESPN and uh, the networks. So um, expect to see more of that as the summer moves along. We've got some pretty big stories working there. And then finally, uh, there is a, a new venture capital fund here in Los Angeles um, that looks, uh, looks promising in terms of a potential investor in ASM. I'm going to take a look at it. It just broke in the news a couple days ago. But it um, looks like it's entertainment uh, financed um, a handful of small families and companies. Um, I believe that that relationship will work out better for us because of our connections to the entertainment business and uh, I think it could be a fit. So we're definitely going to look into that uh, and see if there's any possibilities there. So that's the main uh, points uh, since the last video. Um, again, I will update you as the circumstances warrant. Thank you for your time. Bye now.